Golden Dent. Hi everyone, it's Courtney from Golden Dent. As you all know, we haven't been doing very many trade shows or events, so we wanted to get out some demonstrations of a couple of our most popular products. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So when we're at trade shows uh, demonstrating the physics forceps, we get a lot of commonly asked questions. One of the first ones is in regards to these bumpers. The bumpers are uh, disposable. We usually recommend one per patient. They come off very easily. Um, they are single use with their packaged in kind of a blister pack. So before you go ahead and do an extraction, you can go and just pop one of these out of the blister pack, place it on the instrument, and then you're ready to go. After you're done doing the extraction, you can just go ahead and pop this off and then go ahead and place this in your ultrasonic and then into your autoclave and then sterilize without the bumper. Another commonly asked question we get is, um, how do these work when you get farther in the patient's mouth? These four instruments here will pretty much get back to your first molars. You may or may not be able to get back to your second molars and third molars, just depending upon the cheek limitations of the patient. So we have these two instruments here. Um, they are the molar series of instruments, and basically how these work is they come in from the front of the patient's mouth, not the side. So when you have those limitations of the patient's cheek, or they don't open real wide, these will be able to kind of sneak in there real easily and go ahead and do exactly the same thing. But it is the same concept with the physics forceps, the standard set, where you'll go ahead and place that bumper as far down in the vestibule, and that beak as far down in the sulcus on the lingual. Once again, not squeezing real hard. You'll want to bring your hands back on that hand instrument and then just go ahead and slowly rotate out towards the cheek. Very, very common question we get is about buccal plate breaking. So as you can see, when these instruments are placed in the patient's mouth, that bumper is resting on that buccal plate of bone, which a lot of doctors are very concerned about this uh, buccal plate breaking off. The way that we do remedy that is obviously you don't want to squeeze real tight like this like I was showing you earlier because what will happen is you will go ahead and it will break that buccal plate of bone. So if you bring your hands back on the instrument, just enough to stabilize that instrument in the patient's mouth, and then you'll slowly rotate. So you go ahead and get enough movement, about one to three millimeters, where you'll feel that release of that patient's tooth. One final question that we get all the time is about broken down teeth such as these. With these broken down teeth, um, they can be very challenging sometimes to remove. However, with the physics, it will work just fine. Um, with these, you have to make, just make sure that the beak is onto something solid tooth structure. So if you have to go ahead and drill into the tooth structure to remove some of the decay or even um, some of the tooth structure, you can go ahead and do that. Then you'll go ahead and same thing, place the buckle or the bumper on the buckle the beak on the lingual, and then slowly rotate that tooth towards the buckle. And it will go ahead and remove that. Mm -hmm.